Hello Cairns people, time to use Campbell Kitchens to have a quick view of all the various reports that can be done. There's a lot of reports in SAGE and I'm going to actually start off with the most important one. Because if we click on transactions, this is the one that in the exam has most of the details that get marks. So it's the audit trial report, we want the detailed version, we want landscape as well. And when we run that, we'll have the whole set of dates in case we put something in with the wrong dates. And that is a single one. Uh, in the exam, it's halfway down the list. It shows whether things have been reconciled. It shows that we've set up codes, invoices, journals. It would also show up if you've corrected anything. Uh, if you correct it yourself, that's not a problem. And what we'll do with this one, we're not going to print them because we've actually got to send them off upload them to Sage, uh, to AAT rather, we can export them and automatically somewhere on my desktop yeah, there's a folder. Uh, the names don't need changing, um, you can add a bit more detail if you want to the name but the names will be fine and that's saved ready for upload to AAT. It's about the fourth or fifth one in the exam. If you get past that one, you present most of the evidence you need to. But if you're running short of time, just get, the, get that one as an absolute minimum. Other reports that we might do then. So on the customers menu, uh, we haven't done letters, not in this example, but actually there's a whole range of letters within Sage already set up. Uh, there's also um, reminder letters for people who owe you money. Notice letter 1, letter 2, letter 3. Letter 3 is more serious, the wording. You can change the wording in it. They, all these can be edited. We can also produce statements for our customers. So we highlight a customer or tell them which customer. Um, which one would tell any of these almost. Uh, this will pull up all our customers. So there we are. Okay, you would expect it to put this on paper that you buy from Sage or a specialist printer. So it have your logos on. And it's just got for Fraser. And it's got a tear off slip so they can attach that to a check. Bit old fashioned that one. Uh, other reports then to do with customers, so these are more likely to come up in the exam. Uh, age debtors are very important, uh, what people print off every month or on a regular basis and go through. We'll want the detailed one, and this one will give us all our, there's only three customers, and it just it, only two of them actually owe any money. Uh, these periods, one, two and three, are set into Sage, they're there for Current is up to 30 days, that's 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90 and over 90 days. But you can change the default days if it suits you. Uh, that's an important one. Uh, also important, uh, probably the one more likely to come up in the exam is customer activity. Uh, because I ask for details of closing balances and all the transactions. And this one will do both. Uh, we're not going to tamper with any of the dates or references. We've only got two. And again, it will just pull up our three customers this time because it's showing the transactions with SCL even though they don't owe us any money. And Fry and Fraser. Uh, notice, com complex layouts, but it tells you at the end of the day how much is owed. Uh, also, you might use a daybook as an alternative. If you're going to use one of the daybooks, you'll probably end up uh, just the summary of invoices, but you'll end up probably doing more than one report to cover the criteria, whereas the activity one report covered two criteria. So this is just the list of the invoices, the three opening balances and the two invoices that we posted. It's exactly what it says. It's, an invo it's a sales day book by any other name. Suppliers have a similar set uh, we can have like letters and reports, uh, less likely to use those, but in the normal reports we can do exactly the same. We can have age creditors, in other words, print ourselves out a list of who we owe money to. And obviously every transaction in this exercise is less than a month old. 
but it will show as current the fact that it's still O Jackson and ran stone some money. A similar list we can have day books or we can have activity so that will have all the transactions uh, so the invoices and the payments, receipts, credit notes, everything on one report and it will show how much the outstanding balance is at the end. In that case, nothing. And there, there is something. So those are, require a little bit of practice. Uh, different versions of SAGE will be slightly different. So other things uh, less likely to come up. Uh, bank accounts, now actually what I didn't print out earlier, what I didn't do was one of the remittance advices. It doesn't matter whether it's been reconciled or not, you can print one or two, just highlight the two. Print remittances, in other words, the items that you would be attaching to a cheque or emailing more likely off to your suppliers with a, a payment to tell them that you have made an electronic payment. Again, you buy special stationery from your printers and they can be exported as PDF files, much easier to send. Uh, we can print out cheques, we can have statements. Uh, other reports, okay, we can actually do uh, reconciled transactions or what hasn't been reconciled, in other words, for our reconciliation statement and we can break down receipts and payments in just little grouped reports. So there's quite a lot of reports to play with on, on the bank. Uh, this is the one that breaks it into two so unreconciled transactions see there's the two that we put into the reconciliation statement uh, less likely to be used those and then we have uh, nominal codes so last set of reports this is where you want a particular nominal code or all the nominal activity. So we can have, for instance, a nominal activity, if you take off no transactions, if you leave it for all of them, it prints out the whole lot of nominal codes, whether they've been used or not. So this one just literally goes from motor vehicles, the whole lot basically, it's very similar to the audit trail in the content, just laid out in a different way by nominal code but we might also be asked to do a specific nominal code or a group so for instance if I wanted my bank only I could put those from 1200 to 1250 there we are it's just printed out the petty cash in the bank account if I wanted my debtors control account otherwise known as sales ledger control account it just shows me that one instead of bringing up the whole lot so we've also already seen a trial balance with so one just slight change you will do a trial balance at the end occasionally you're asked to do a particular date in other words we only want anything for the month that means if you'd wrongly dated anything it might not show if it's before if it's after that date anything up to that date you'll have a suspense account and that one is a pretty certain one to upload uh, apart from that the screen dumps we've seen you can do a screen dump as and requested at any time and just to remind you uh, because it's such a commonly forgotten one on the recurring entries you can go back and see your setup if you've forgotten to do that